Hey everyone, it's Char, and I'm here in the kitchen making breakfast for dinner. Oh, and by the way, look, look, look. Let's get some better light on that. It's not so irrational anymore, is it? <laughs> Rash jokes. They can be funny when the rash is gone. Oh my gosh. So anyway, what am I making for my breakfast for dinner? Well, let's see. Let's take a little walk over here to the cupboard. Now, if you're on a budget and Hungry Jack, yes, these are actually pretty good. I don't use the whole thing. I use half of it. And my friend still tells me, you're still not eating enough calories. Um, <laughs> but then I'm going to add, you know, as soon as this is done cooking, I'm going to add two eggs, although he would tell me to eat three. Um, and then I'm going to add some pepper jack, Monterey jack cheese with jalapeno and habanero. Oh. I love this cheese. I shouldn't be eating cheese, but I love cheese. Um, <laughs> so, as soon as these lovely hash browns, do you hear that? As soon as these lovely hash browns are done cooking us, like, I wanted my hair not to be a mess. <laughs> because I have some sewing to finish up which I so will get done. Sewing puns. Um, they're always fun. Um, you know, it was nice to uh, hear back from Kathy Hay today. I'm such a fan of you, sweetie. I don't care that you, you know, you're building back the voice of courage. You have courage anyway. You go. You go, girl. Um, anyway, so as soon as these hash browns are done, we'll be right back. Oh, wait, you guys might be wondering, what do I cook my hash browns in? Well, I just use a little bit of butter cooking spray. I cut back on a lot of intake of fat. And I think my friend is like, you've really lost too much weight. I haven't lost too much weight. I'm still me. Um, <laughs> um, and then I use some extra virgin olive oil to get these crispy, which they are already, <laughs> don't want that to drop. They're already getting crispy. And I will show you that. Seriously, when we come back. Okay, I decided to take out two extra eggs just so my friend won't, you know, kind of be like, mm, you're not eating enough. So I'm going to end up with four eggs in this. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little extra spray right in the middle, make sure I have it, you know, on there right. And now this is a non stick pan. We all know non-stick sometimes sticks. I think we all know this. Come down your heat. Ever cook on high? That's not good for your uh, food, and it's really not good for the uh, burner on your stove. Or as Miss Brenda would say on Cooking with Brenda and David, um, it's not good for the eyes of your stuff, which technically back in the day, these used to be called ice stove eyes. These used to be called stove eyes. Why? Because it looks like an eye staring back at you from your stove. So, what I do, I just, for convenience, and to help clean up is I will put them on the napkin and then throw it away.
makes it a lot more convenient. And we'll come back over here. Now, do I need any spices from over here? Actually, what I will use from over here is my curry. I use curry for joint health. And if anybody suffers from joint issues, such as fibroid myalgia, I do. Um, curry is very good for that. And my turmeric is up in the cupboard. And turmeric is good for that too. Um, oh, that was some egg. Okay. And then I actually don't put that much cheese on here. Like, what is with the egg? Like egg hair. You ever have that happen? <laughs> like egg hair. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And you take some cheese and just kind of sprinkle it around. Now, spices are very good for joint and di digestive health. And a lot of people don't think about using spices for your digestive health. And it is actually very, very good for that. <sighs> it really is. And, you know what, maybe I will go grab my turmeric. My turmeric is never that far away. I had a friend from India. It was a roommate of mine. Always had the best turmeric. In fact, his mom had left me some turmeric straight from India. Best turmeric ever. It was, it was the best. And she also left me some yellow curry. It was like, it was the best. So, as soon as this is done cooking and I get it plated, we'll be right back. So we are now out of the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, we are in my room, which is also my studio. Um, and I'm keeping everything away from all the fabric. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. I did decide, sorry about that. I did, however, decide to put some curry on this. That's I don't know why it turned red. It turned red. Maybe it was the steam. I do steam my food. And um, I also put some fresh cracked pepper on here and some parsley. Sometimes that'll turn it red. But then also steaming it turns it red. So this is actually budget friendly. And, and on top of that, I mean, look at that. The delightfulness on that. Yumness. Yum yum. I haven't made breakfast for dinner in a while. And I was like, you know what? I don't really have a lot of food in the house right now because I haven't had the chance to go shopping. My friend has been busy. And for those of you out there that are seriously wondering, I have severe epilepsy and I'm not allowed to live alone. So. Let's not let things fly around that aren't true. Um, but I live my life. There you go. I live my life. Um, because I have, I have things to do in my life. I have to finish my pants, um, and then I have other things. Oh yeah, and finish little Joey's shirt for Rindy Ray. Mmm. This is good. If you like yellow curry, and you like turmeric, and you like fresh cracked pepper, and... I said the steam is what turned 
the turmeric red. That'll do it. Um, and then these crunchy Hungry Jack hash browns, they come dehydrated. You hydrate them, cook them, and you're actually saving money. But stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys next time. As you guys have seen, my hives are clearing up. I've been doing a lot of meditating in the morning, which I usually do. Um, and remember to always keep a positive mindset because that is what keeps you from negativity. And I will see you all later. Have a blessed rest of your week.